two. Close. Whoa. Nice. And this one here is on two. And this one here is, oh, Jesus. Now they're starting to interrupt me when I'm speaking. Here's a good, here's a good one. It's taking line. Damn it. Righto, welcome back, guys. So my first thing to do is to get a few squid, if you find special mines, get some bait, and then the intention is to use some of that to uh, catch my target species, which would be like the big pump whiting, or even the King George. So, let's get into it. <laughs> right, I think I've got one. Just hit some weight. It's not pulsating. Let's have a look. Yeah, see, suspended weed. I think. No, it's a squid. Calamari. He's not even hooked. Now he's hooked. Whoa. Whoa. Woo! All right, all right. Getting attacked from all corners. Feisty. Lovely, and he's still going. So that's a great way to start. Good eating quality. Woo! Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to lose this jig. I lost the jig. Oh my god. Right, so that's the usual. Throw the sea anchor over first. The wind's gonna die down, which is good. There you go. Over there. And drop my boat over and get a get a fish. I throw a squid trick over as well, just in case. Two long shanks and all these plastic beatings and bling. I actually sharpened this hook because it was one I used from last week or a while ago, just to make sure that the fish grabs it and it doesn't come off. Now let's get some of that fresh bait. We caught calamari. We're gonna be using these tentacles. I prefer these big long ones. Kind of in the reasonable size ones because I want to go for the big, big whiting and the big King George. So I just feed the, the bait on the hook. I like to wrap it at least once. Oops, twice. There you go, that's okay. They might get ripped off, so I've got to be careful. Weed and sand patches. That's where the King George are hanging out. My, a while back, I actually caught King George and big plump whiting in the same spot. So that was quite surprising. Anyway, we'll soon find out. I don't expect to have a hot bite because it was pretty slow over there. It's a low tide. The moon is okay, but you just never know. I don't expect to catch them straight away. I mean, again, you can take hours. <laughs> Gotta be lucky. You can anchor up and barely up, but I like to locate them first and then mark the spot and go over it a few times. Ooh. So we've got a bite here. Nothing grander. Could be a butterfish. It's a good sign. Oh no, he's a big whiting. Big plump sand whiting. Whew. So in the money straight away. So that is a darling of a fish. They're, they're the ones I do like. They're good size, they're probably about 30 centimeters. You can feel the scales are quite thick. Good fillet in size. Whoa. And uh, straight away put them into a, a slurry of ice. You can knock them out, spike them, but I find that the ice puts them out of the misery pretty quick. I go straight to um Straight to Whiting Heaven. This is um not bad. Bit of curry. I'd say his target species. Oh, it is wrapped around the other line. Bad idea. Bad thing. Oh, look at that. It's got to lose it. Oh, it's flying all over the place. Whoa. Nice. And this one here is on two. So that's a fine specimen of a Whiting. And this is definitely a whitey too. Woo. So I hit this, hit the honey spot, this market. Oh, it's taking line. <laughs> oh, I love it. Here he's coming up right there for the water. Yeah, another, another bazooka. Woo. How about that? Two in the, in a quick succession. Lovely. So it shows that the whiting that hang around together. Oh. Oh, mother. And no fear for these long shank hooks. A lot of people ask me, why don't you use circle hooks? 
Might, well, why should I if I'm catching them like this? Alrighty. And he's about 40 centimetres. Alright. So I'll let that one still stay. And I'm in a bit of a rush because, um, yeah, the widening can come and go. Why waste time when you can capitalise on the hookup and the fresh squid bait done the job straight away again? I'll let this one down, undo this one. That's a beauty. And he really swallowed this one. Oh, you just watch for this rod here. Shout out if you see that rod buckling over. Oh, lock now. Yeah, lock now. No, it's not a big one. Let's have a look. Nice. King George. Yeah, he's small. He's probably legal. But you know what? I'm going to release him back. Yeah, go for the bigger ones. <laughs> That's definitely a KG. The drag's probably too loose. We won't get an underwater shot. But I don't want to risk losing it you can see right there it's another nice fish yeah nice good healthy size oh okay g whiting he's actually throwing up some of his some of his uh dinner swallowed this again and this rig here has got extra red tubing yeah so another fine specimen king george whiting oh yeah that's a nice clean Beautiful. So you can see when he threw up some of that blood worm that they chew on. I'll definitely put this back on the hook. And a bit of supplementary bait. Surprised that one didn't go off. Huh. It must be all zoned into one little spot. Oh, this one is. Here we go. Spoke too soon. Is he still on? Yeah, he's on. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good, he's a good one. He's taking line. Good size, this one. He's up, oh. He's fighting. oh my God. It's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Oh my God. Whoo. Oh. Just look at the girth on that one. Oh. Jeez. He's come off, beauty. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful specimen of a whiting. Let's do get that one ready. Lovely. Great conditions too, because the wind's starting to turn. And what what I also just want to say, might have another one. Yeah, he's, he's biting it. That whiting loves swell. That's one there. Oh my God. Now they're starting to interrupt me when I'm speaking. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I had to say, it could be, ooh, could be two of them. They go up here. No, there's one big one. Oh. Really give me curry. Nice dinosaur. My God. And you know what happened? That rig has actually half disappeared. I reckon I had two. And my rig, damn it, wasn't tied on properly. So there's one whiting out there swimming around with a bloody sinker. Oh, that, that breaks my heart. I know it was you, Fredo, and you broke my heart. These ones here fill my heart. Whew. Oh, just a beautiful fish. And this one here is a dinosaur. Let's put him straight into the esky. Oh my God. So I'm on the move again before this wind really picks up. And I'm actually changing spots entirely. I've got, you can't sit on the camera though. You've got sand and then there's weed. And it goes all along that way there, so 
that's my uh, train of thought. Edge of the sand and weed. You see the sound of that sand and a little bit of weed. You can see the water's nice and clean, so that's sandy. Now, one more drift before I get blown out the buggery, before I get blown back to Kingdom Come. Right, now there's got to be a KG, and we're just on the edge of a weed bed. I can see the sand and the weed straight away. And that one there's taken off too, but let me worry about this one. Oh, it's a flatty. Oh, it's a good size. And this one here, oh, Jesus. Came off. Don't think my foot stung. Um, was well, promising. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, KG. He's actually a not too bad one. It's if you will oversize. Lovely one. And believe it or not, it actually got stung on the foot with the flatty. One of my toes. Oh. Do this one first. Yeah, it's 33. Oh my God, that toe hurts. Someone told me, so if you rub his belly, the slime, and put that over your sting, that should ease the pain. So it's actually got me one, two, three times. Oh, and the... Now, I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll soon find out. Rub his belly and put it on the sting. You can go back. And I think I've got a fine specimen here as well. No, nah, nothing too big. What have we got? Oh, a nice whiting. Not a bad whiting. Oops. I'll let this guy go, he's good size. <sighs> My toe is um, not bad, I feel a bit of pain, but it's actually a mental thing, I'm not gonna be too fussed about it. As long as I don't <laughs> bung my toe up against one of these beams. And the pain feels like a local anaesthetic. If you've ever had a local anaesthetic, initially it's painful, and obviously it goes away because it's anaesthetic, but this flathead sting, it's like local anaesthetic, but it's not going away. Oh, that's a, is that a bite? Another boom boom, I think it's a butterfish. Oh no, it's a leather jacket. Now they're very good eating these ones, leather jackets, or trigger fish. I'll let them go, there's no need for me to grab this one, but they're quite, quite nice, ugly. There you go, little trigger fish. Alrighty, this has got a bit more boom boom. Could be, could be kind of the KG. Yeah, boy, yeah, they fight. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh yeah, beautiful one. So definitely honing down my skills in the KGs. Oh, now this is not a butterfish. This is not a butterfish. Oh man, bit of a dead weight. There he is. Oh, he's actually moving through the water. Oh, it's a good size. There's something hanging around with it. Have I got two? Two fish. Oh no. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a biggie. That is a big one. Watch out. Oh, yeah. Darling of a fish. This guy here. I don't hold on to it right. He will escape. Go back into the drink. <laughs> so, doing it again. I just love these fish. Beautiful. Right, oh, time for the final catch. Big. Big King George whiting. Got about eight of them, which is great. I'll only pick up this bit. But uh, basically, I used the 
tentacles of this squid to catch all these beautiful fine specimens of KG whiting. See you home for the cook up. It's gonna be a howler. It's gonna be a howler. It's worth it. Worth the trip to the bloody physio. All right. I've got the storm cover on the side here. So I'm gonna get drenched. Oh my God. I think I'll just take it easy. I'll be home in about an hour and a half. Take it easy. Uh. Alrighty, so we're going to be doing an instant cook up. <laughs> I've already filleted the fish as you can see, and let's get cooking. Really simple one, and I'm starting to get a little bit lazy. I think I deserve it. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some tomato on the bice heel. Now that's mainly so the fish is protected from the uh, from the cooking process. But you've got to admit that is a beautiful piece of King George whiting. Absolute beautiful piece. That's another good one here too. It's a bit smaller. Let's season it up with salt. Be generous, believe it or not, it's from the ocean but not very salty at all, the, fl the flesh. And I've got a coffee cup <laughs> with extra virgin olive oil and crushed up chili. I'm just gonna pour that along here. Now I did this mainly because the garlic and the oil infused together. This gives you a nice flavor. Just come to think of it, it's a fair bit of garlic for fish. That's all right. Some parsley chopped up. It's all stuck to my fingers. And I've got just a little bit of chopped up chili. Just a little bit. Just to give it a bit of a, a bit of a kick to the flavor. And that's all it. That my friends is almost it. Actually gonna add in a bit of breadcrumbs. Now this actually gives you a bit of a crunch, a bit of a texture to the fish. So it soaks up all the all the oil and the aromas, it's way too much. Very, very simple as I said. A bit more parsley to make it look good. A bit more oil just in case. Touch more salt. That is it. We're going to put it into the oven. It's been preheated, about 180, um, and I want to cook it slowly because I don't want to risk overcooking it. Here we go. I'll probably put some foil on there as well. I'll do that off camera. Alrighty, it's definitely ready. wrapper off look at that look at that that looks just look perfect ouch it's hot sun that looks delicious exactly the way I wanted it not overcooked still pumping full of juice so I'm gonna have a little piece I've got a serving of broccoli and a bit of rice too but just gonna have this little piece out here just for you guys, might let this cool cool down a bit. Let's give it a crack. Yummy. Salute. Mm. Yeah. Delicious. Hey, garlic. And parsley and the chili, mate, they complement the fish magnificently. I know some of the tomato that's been infused with the, with the fish as well. <coughs> Bad mistake. A bit of chili in the throat. Anyway, <laughs> 
Dom Petite. We'll see you next time. Where's my beer? Take it easy. Fish, taco. <coughs> Fish, God, taco. It's good. Fish, taco, yeah. man. Fish, taco. Fish, taco. The fish, taco, man.